YouTube friends and family to today's edition of the Wellness Homesteader. So as the title suggests, it costs how much? <laughs> so I didn't have any intention today of doing a video. I simply have been going a little more regularly to some of the local stores to try to catch some bargains or catch things on sale that I can then put in my long-term pantry as well as consume now. And I started filming once I got in Walmart without really any intention of filming. And I realized about halfway through Walmart, I sounded like, like a major cranky pants. Sorry about that, y'all. So I'm actually filming this after. And I hope you'll take that with a grain of salt because I was just absolutely astounded. However, I always like to leave you with something uplifting and I'm not here to stress you, to worry you, to say you need to. Um, that That's not my style, but I do have some suggestions. So <clears throat> recently, I found a new channel on YouTube. So I don't have cable TV, I don't have streaming services, and I watch mostly YouTube and I love educational pieces. And I've shared many times that my family um, born, raised, and many died in Appalachia. And there is a channel called Celebrating Appalachia. And I did let her know I would be doing a shout out. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below. You know, it's a great channel. Not only is it educational, it's funny. And I don't personally like to be read to, like if someone's lecturing, but she has been doing some book reading and I had to write it down. The book that she's currently reading and as of today, and today is Saturday, she's only done two episodes and they're not super long so, and she's very easy to listen to. Um, it's Alec Stewart, Portrait of a Pioneer. <clears throat> So I had listened to her YouTube video this morning and I will tell you if you're having trouble with what's going on in the world and prices and feeling stressed out, if you wanna feel grateful, you need to listen to this book. Look, I just said you need to, oh my word. You might wanna listen to this book because it is really representative of poverty stricken rural Appalachia and things that we take for granted y'all every single day were pure luxuries to them. So I hope that you will take a listen. She has a delightful little Southern accent. So fun to listen to. She does some really good cooking as well. Um, she sometimes does like Appalachian terms, which I'm like, I know that. I know that. <laughs> I grew up with those words. So at any rate, again, that's celebrating Appalachia. So the other thing that happened, y'all, let me try to, well, I'll just block this off. I received my gas bill and I'm like, score, because I have not run my gas other than I do have a gas water heater and my generator's gas. Now we've been hearing in the news that Prices are going to increase on all utilities, and I hope to bring you some solutions on cooling your house. I am doing some research right now on that, <sighs> but this one was like the worst one I've ever gotten as far as the actual gas I used versus, and we've talked about this before, the distribution and service charges. So I used $6.25 in gas, kind of makes sense with the water heater and the weekly generator test. And they charged me $41.73 uh, distribution and service. So uh, yeah, that's like 700% more than the gas I used. So as we're seeing things like this, what struck me <clears throat> and what really struck me at the pump it struck me hard, y'all. I was robbed. No, I'm just, I shouldn't be so flippant about it. <clears throat> Is maybe I personally need to do some things that are less expensive than just going to the store and picking an item off the shelf. And I'm going to talk about that as I share my haul with you. <clears throat> Pardon me. 
The other thing I did was I filled up my car and I had 10 gallons on the button and it cost me $43.49. Gas was obviously $434.9. So we're feeling the pain at the pump. A year ago, gas was half. So we're the experts are giving us these figures of 8.6, 8.9% inflation. They are, they are so off. <laughs> so I had said in the video that's up, that's going to be upcoming. I'm going to share it with you. Then I'm going to share my haul. I said, we're going to go to Aldi. Y'all, I was in such a foul mood by the time all of that happened. I just, well, Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I felt like I, I was kind of to my spending ceiling. So I decided just to go to Aldi. Uh, I wanted some strawberries, so I am going to share that with you. So I will not have this, the quantity of strawberries, even though I planted my green stalk. I won't have enough probably to make jam, and I need jam now. <laughs> I need it right now. So... Walmart strawberries looked awful. They were um, still like yellow. They weren't even ripe. So I got some pretty decent looking ones at Aldi. In my area, Aldi's produce is generally better, not always. And I paid $1.58 a quart. So my total at Aldi was $7.96. So I am going to bring the ring light around. I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna show you what I bought. You might be surprised at some of the things that I purchased, but some were things I needed, some were things I thought might be good to have on hand, might give you some ideas. And then I'm going to share with you at the end just a couple ideas of things we might do this summer that can help both myself and you save some money. Stay tuned. All right, uh, so one of my first things on my list is some Equate spray. Um, I remember when this was uh, two something, and it is now up to four twenty four. Uh, amazing price increase. I'm gonna try to speak over the music. So here is some sweet Italian basil for five forty eight. Y'all, this stuff looks terrible, and it's already gone to seed. And that's what they have. I'm um, appalled <laughs> at the prices. Um, we do have some hot peppers for $3.48. That don't look so bad, but a lot at this point, a lot is looking really bad. And trust me, they have not marked it down. So, got lots of cucumbers. Those are four. And those are the Bonnie plants. Uh, I see some pumpkins back there. Some peas which is actually bunny food for me. <laughs> um, some thyme, jalapeno, uh, a few strawberries. Quite a bit of tomatoes, so I guess I just was looking at a really um, poor example, but I'm just appalled. Um, marigolds, these are $4.98. And while they look good, who wants to pay five bucks for one little marigold when you can <sighs> plant seeds? So I always like to check when I'm in Walmart, but I am going to absolutely pass on what they have. Another today. thing to be very aware of. So these are priced at 97 cents. Um, I use them around the chicken coop. This is the identical same thing below it, priced at $1.18. So we'll see what this uh, rings up. I think that's one of Walmart's latest tricks is they will not honor the lower price on the shelf. So that's a shame. As you all know, I like to decorate my little island, you know, for the different seasons. So I thought this was really cute, but it's $7. Maybe I'm having just a cheap out day today. This little sign is 14 just seems like that this wreath, which is not really pretty, is $30.98. I just feel like things are super pricey. I will say everything is extraordinarily well stocked. 
and I see people shopping, but I also see a lot of people with um, almost nothing in their cart. I was also looking at some of the Memorial Day slash 4th of July items. Like this little yardstick is also $7. And I just, yeah, I'm amazed at prices. $7 for the bow, $7 seems to be there. <laughs> the price of the day. Um, not a whole lot, that's my style anyway. But what there is, is pretty, pretty pricey. So I was just looking at some of the name brand, like Hidden Valley Ranch, 346, versus the Buttermilk Ranch, great value. So 9.3 cents an ounce. I mean, you can go cheaper, but I would never eat that much ranch dressing as compared to 18.8 or, sorry guys, 28.9. I, it's not like I have not been out. Um, and I also need some of this. Oh boy. You know, I'm wondering if I need to learn to make some of this. Yeah, okay, 48 cents. I'm happy with that. I'll get a couple of those. Maybe we need to start working on some more homemade things. I'm also appalled at the price of Vidalia onions. And y'all, I don't have much in my cart. Um, for uh, 38 I believe, for the Vidalia onions. No, for $48. Um, and that's only a three-pound bag. So, let's go ahead to share with you. If you all need cleaning supplies, I would go ahead and stock up their white vinegar was under three dollars last week it's above it well it's three dollars exactly and here's the status on the great value olive oil still none oh pardon me yeah that's one disadvantage to filming the uh apple cider vinegar is up to 514 a gallon guys so um this is just a message for you to be aware that prices are really increasing I'm going to take a gander at baking supplies and make sure I am well stocked. I think that I am, but just in case, you never know. And I also like to buy some of their sugar-free um, pudding to put into my protein shakes because it thickens them. So let me do a little perusing. Yeah. Things have just gone up so much, y'all. Other suggestion to you if you have a source for less expensive nuts. So this is 24 ounces, so a pound and a half for 9.30 of chopped walnuts. Pecans for 32 ounces or two pounds is $20. $20, y'all. Um, and the chopped 24 ounces, 15, so they're just like, yeah. So, thankful I have some on my shelf, but I'm not seeing any like ones that I cannot live without. Um, it looks like the great value walnut halves that were the cheapest are out, so, and they were 38.7, so the next is. But this is great to have on hand. You can vacuum seal for your um, zucchini bread, things like that. So I'm probably going to snag <sighs> some of the walnuts. We're going to go over to Aldi. The regular Jiffy Corn Muffin mix has gone up to 56 cents. It's actually 47 48 at Aldi. The honey version is now 72 and the vegetarian version is 58. So, you know, make sure you check your labels. I've not seen these new types as well. The other item I wanted to mention is sugar. We continue to talk about sugar shortages. Uh, the Great Value brand for 10 pounds is 560. For four pounds, it is 233. So I, normally see oh here we go the uh, 25 pounds is 
which makes it 3.4 cents a little bit cheaper. <laughs> a tenth of a penny, but um, don't forget your sugar needs. I'm well stocked. And also any spices or herbs that you can't grow, um, good time to pick it up because I'm telling y'all, it's not getting So cheaper. when I first started purchasing the Southern Sweet Tea, it was uh, right at $2, so this is almost doubled. And while I know making tea would be way cheaper, <laughs> um, I can't drink the tea, and these powdered drink mixes um, have too much citric acid, so I can't do that either. So, um, yeah, these are $1.30 uh, per ounce, and these are $1.26, so the bigger ones are definitely the better. Buy. Sometimes they'll have one on clearance, but uh, no such luck today. Just want to share with you the Great Value Bleach, which it is concentrated, is now four dollars and twelve cents. It's been steadily rising since COVID, and while I have some in stock, I am going to check um, dollar type stores instead. And y'all, I'm so sorry about the music in the background. As you see, the shell better watch what I say shelves are well stocked <laughs> at, without a problem but um, prices y'all prices are just crazy I'm totally amazed at it um, yeah so they have what you need if you can afford to pay Another for good it. suggestion for your preps are these flushable wipes I um, it's nice to have them just for quick um, cleanups of your body, uh, not necessarily for a restroom item, but I have liked these. They are now coming in uh, a four pack for $4.87. However, I am going to check Dollar General because if you shop through the week at Dollar General, you will get a $5 off $25 coupon. So I will. I have one for today, so I will be doing that later today. I did use some paper plates. So these are a hundred of the great value regular size plates. They are sort of plastic coated, but y'all, $11, 18 cents. All right, wow. y'all, I officially can't believe this. So Graders is kind of a fa famous ice cream place around here. Um, and their black raspberry is $17.98 for less than half a gallon. And even their um, vanilla bean is the same price. So it, it doesn't relate to the fruit where Briars is like $3.98. And they probably have some less expensive somewhere down the line, but you would pay $17, $18 for less than a half a gallon of ice cream. Not me. Are you supposed to be sleeping on the countertop? No, but you're gonna, okay. Poor Frankie, he's very jealous of the attention I'm giving the girls, so I'm trying not to give him such a hard time. My mom loves you, Poopa. Alrighty, let's jump into the hall. So, from a canning standpoint, I do like Mrs. Wage's medium salsa, and I add some additional things to it. And of course, I have my own homegrown tomatoes or I source them from the Amish auction. So I did go ahead and get a container of this. This is what was the shocker for me. So this is a six pack of Sure Gel and it was just under $13. Amazing, but I have Sure Gel and I do make a lot of jams and jellies. I grabbed some uh, my son always called these school buns. <laughs> Some inexpensive, great value uh, hot dog buns for 98 cents. And I'm not going to tell you all the prices, y'all. Um, some Sam's Club Hawaiian bagels. And then I like the Aunt Millie's soft bagels, the everything bagels. I like those as well. One thing to note, y'all, what do you see here? Yeah. Even though there's the same um, appearance to the packages, there are only five bagels in this and there are actually six in this. So I am seeing packaging shrinking, so less for your money. Back here, I did buy the $9.30 walnuts, but these will last for a very long time. Will be great for some summer baking. 
I do keep a brownie mix on hand for an emergency dessert if I have to have something, you know, at the last minute. And I had used one, so purchased that. I shared in the uh, Walmart that I got a couple Jiffy Corn Muffin mixes. Because I spent so long in Walmart and filming and everything, I did not check Aldi prices, so I can't speak to that. I did buy some umami seasoning, which is mushroom and onion. So umami is that delicious um, flavor that you get from browning meat, etc. It's that very savory. So I, I, I just had to try it, right? Because sometimes having great tasting foods, you can actually eat less. Here I have some of my absolute favorite Castleberry hot dog chili sauce with onion. It's hard to find. I can remember when this was like 89 cents. It's now $1.09. I bought three cans of the Great Value Cream Stout Corn. I like to put this in cornbread. Two cans of whole kernel corn, even though I'm growing corn. It'll be a while before I have corn. In Ohio, it's just knee-high by the 4th of July. So... The chickens, you can actually freeze these in like cupcake tins and, you know, either with the liquid or add some water to it and they can peck at it and can cool them down on a very hot day. A couple cans of sliced beets because that is something that I do not grow or I'm not growing this year. 16 ounces of the Great Value Sour Cream. A two cup package or eight ounces of pepper jack cheese. And this is great for hash brown casserole or ways to use eggs to make a breakfast casserole. I got the one pound Great Value Sharp Cheddar, finely shredded a sharp cheddar cheese because I really do. That's my favorite and it's really good in a lot of different dishes. These I bought straight up because they were 98 cents. It's nice to have a couple convenience meals in the freezer that I don't have to cook from scratch. And y'all don't even start on me about how bad these are for you. They are not grass-fed beef. They're bar s um, chicken and pork hot dogs, but this is going to be my Memorial Day meal. It's one of my absolute favorites, and I know that's like junk food. Jimmy Dean hot sausage. It's hard to find the hot style. And this is $3.98 now, y'all. So even pork has gone up sizably. I did buy some great value unsweetened almond milk, and I had to buy the vanilla flavor. I wanted the unsweetened because the regular is sweetened with corn syrup, but they didn't have the plain. Honestly, y'all, I have cooked a savory dish with this, and it's never caused a problem. I talked about this while I was in Walmart, my tea drop addiction. I apologize, there's some onion skins here. I did buy a tub of, I believe it's Hershey ice cream was the best value with some butter or caramel uh, syrup for the top. This will last a long time. I do use evaporated milk when I'm making a large breakfast casserole. I used a can from my long-term pantry, so I'm going to replace it. Love these little uh, peppers in all sorts of things. They're really, really good. I am not growing the tiny sweet peppers. I am growing, I think, just one bell pepper. So I may freeze dry some of these as well. I needed garbage bags, great value brand, the great value brand of Honey Nut Cheerios. I shared the Vidalia onions, three pounds. I go through a lot of onions, y'all, so I'll be glad when my onions are ready for harvest. A small bottle of Buttermilk Ranch. This is really good for dipping. Um, also probably not super good for you. A, I did want to let you know this did ring up 97 cents, so this is solar light for the girls for around their coop. I went ahead and purchased, oh, I lost my lid somewhere the anti-itch spray for my <laughs> endless mosquito bites. And then I decided to try the Off Botanicals plant-based repellent because it is deep free. And guys, again, drop me that comment below if you have any other suggestions for great ways to prevent mosquito bites because I am literally eaten alive right now. They did not have the Walmart brand pudding and they did not have the sugar-free brand, but I just put a small amount 
into my protein shake, so I decided to get one because I'm nearly out. And then two of the packages, and I've never tried this before, of the Italian dressing mix. I use this when I make egg salad, when I make tuna salad, when I make deviled eggs, and it is simply a spice mix. So trying to see here. Yeah, so there's probably things in here like maltodextrin, um, sodium citrate. I'm having trouble reading it, y'all. But it's not, it's not too hateful. It's not a real dirty product. So I was glad to get a couple of them for 47 cents each. Just a couple thoughts before we end today's video. Oh, I forgot to share one thing. <laughs> I did purchase this silk. I forget what it's supposed to be. Random plant. It's supposed to be a fig plant. <laughs> Um, for a decorating project that I am working on and y'all, I would have thought it would have been cheaper than that, but it wasn't. So at any rate, my total, including that was $135 and 69 cents. So I mentioned, I believe while I was in Walmart that when you shop at Dollar General through the week, the bottom of your receipt will contain a coupon that's $5 off, $25. Just make sure you look at the validity date because this was actually not this past week, but the week before. And this is the day that the coupon popped up for. Not sure whether I'm, I really need anything, but that is a way to save $5. And if you have a local dollar general that's not out of your way, you're not burning a lot of gas. I certainly have one very close to me. And it's very well stocked now with food and does have some things that I would use. You know, it is an option. So <laughs> I had this epiphany, you know, epiphany in Walmart. Now more than ever, I think having some knowledge and some skills to be able to cook from scratch, to source things locally, from either a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, or other local farms or farmers in your area might be really helpful. Also, not just reaching for those convenience items. I'm guilty of that as well. So I'm going to try to bring you some upcoming videos, not only on, we're getting into canning season, food preservation, but also on how to save money by creating your own fill in the blank. And one of those things might just be crafts because the quality of what I saw, and I know it's at Walmart, y'all, but still, for the price, that's right, it was expensive. <laughs> Frankie's like, I think it was expensive too, my mom. So stay tuned for a little bit more on that. It just gave me some pause and some food for thought. I also have shared this book before, but I am going to share it again because I have been really looking at this. And it, it is an old book. Okay, let me share that. It's called The Have More Plan, A Little Land, A Lot of Living, How to Make a Small Cash Income into the Best and Happiest Living Any Family Could Want by Ed and Carolyn Robinson. Now, let me tell you, this is written on the premise that it's a couple and it's also written on the premise that the wife is stay at home, which nothing wrong with any of that, just may not fit, didn't fit my situation. Copyright is 1973. But what I can say are there are little gems in this book. So I will try to find on Abe or Thrift or, or maybe even Amazon, I'm not sure. I will try to find and link this at the best price that I can find it for you. Because if you're looking to improve your homestead or your home place and start to add things that might serve you well in the future, not necessarily for cash income, but maybe, I think this book will give you some food for thought. So I wanted to be sure to reshare this because I've really enjoyed looking at it. One of the things I'm trying to do here is to add some fruit trees. I just have not been successful whatsoever in finding what I want at a price I'm willing to pay. So I may have to like pay up a little bit 
I, as I said, maybe I was just having an extremely cheap day today, but I was absolutely shocked at some of the prices. <laughs> that $17 ice cream, $18, I was like, what? Wait, what? Like, I don't even love ice cream, but I like to have a little now and then in the summer. Yeah, I wouldn't pay $18 for less than half gallon ice cream. Okay, I'll get off my, <laughs> my soapbox. I hope today's video has been helpful. I hope it's been encouraging. Maybe it gave you some ideas about things that you can do in these trying times, these trying financial times to maybe save a little money if you're thus inclined. Don't forget, drop me a comment below about the mosquitoes. Also, what are you seeing in your area on prices? Are they continuing to climb? In my area, it was a very slow increase and now it's really popped up and it's consistently every week, every week, I am seeing those increases. So come on garden, <laughs> great year to be growing food and having eggs right in my own backyard. So I will see you all very soon. Don't forget to smash that like button and leave that comment. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that, that subscribe button, ring that bell to be notified of all the new videos. And until I see you again, be well, be healthy, be blessed, and take care.